Hello booktube! I'm here today to discuss Manhattan Beach by Jennifer Egan. Now this is a book that has been talked about quite a bit on booktube so I won't go uh, I won't go on for too long of a time um, but I will say that um, I did enjoy this book um, quite a bit. I went in with very low expectations despite its high, uh, high um, <laughs> high reviews uh, by like NPR and The Guardian and uh, things like that. Um, NPR rated it like the number one book of 2017 and I thought there's no way it could be that good. <laughs> um, this was my uh, book club's pick this month and I thought um, I'm going to hate it but I guess I have to read it. So I went in with very low expectations and was pleasantly surprised. Um, the prose is very lyrical and easy to read and um, it's about these three characters um, in New York in World War II in the Depression era. Uh, Ed, Eddie Kerrigan, um, who is a bagman, who uh, he ferries, um, ferries uh, money back and forth between uh, gangsters in New York, and his daughter Anna, who is a girl in the time of the Depression but becomes a young woman during World War II, and who works in the docks um, and eventually becomes a diver, um, uh, and is the first woman to become a diver. <laughs> um, uh, who divers are people who uh, go underwater to repair uh, ship holes and things like that and um, untie knots uh, do things like that um, uh, and uh, Dexter Stiles who is a man who Eddie works for um, and uh, who is a mob boss in New York now the three of them kind of dance around each other throughout the entire book um, and uh, we uh, switch back and forth between their perspectives, their third person perspectives, um, and it's really interesting. Now, the um, the most interesting perspective I would probably have to say would have been Anna's. I did kind of skim through Dexter's perspectives just because I'm not really that interested in crime, um, but he's in. But um, you can definitely tell which section is which um, person. Uh, the writing is different. The prose is different. Um, there is. But ultimately, there's these themes of water and of uh, the ocean and the sea throughout all three of these um, different character sections and their different perspectives. Um, there are allegories to the sea and to the ocean and um, these themes of water. And as you know, water can represent rebirth and it can represent sexuality and reawakening um, in literature. Now, um, and it kind of represents all three throughout different perspectives of the book. Um, now, uh, um, uh, most people in my book club did uh, enjoy this a fair amount, um, uh, but uh, one person did not, and she's a former English teacher, and she just saw everything coming a mile away. Um, she gave this book a 3 out of 10. <laughs> well, the rest of us gave it about a 7.5. Um, on Goodreads, I gave it about 3.5 stars. Um, uh, and I was pleasantly surprised because the writing because the writing is so melodic. Um, I I read this book relatively quickly, even though it's about uh, four hundred and I think like twenty five pages or something like that. Um, I read it within like two or three days, um, and it passed by pretty quickly for me. Um, but uh, um, near the end, it does kind of drag on. Um, the author she did a lot of extensive research for this, and um, a lot of, and that makes a lot of um, the narrative pretty interesting because you can see how people were living during this time period, and um, and you learn quite a bit. But sometimes her research is a little bit too much, and it almost seems like she's uh, shoehorning um, her research into the narrative, um, and that uh, just doesn't make it pleasant. We learn a little bit too many details about how people did things back then, um, things that I didn't really need to know. <laughs> um, like I don't necessarily need to know exactly all the ways that. Um, at, uh, you know, um, Navy boats dodged U-boats back then. Um, you know, you don't need to go on for pages about that. I don't really care. <laughs> um, but maybe that's something that other people found interesting, but it seemed kind of like she was trying to shove her research into the novel. Um, it got a little bit too wordy for me. Um, but, uh, the perspective I found most interesting was Anna's, um, because I was really interested in hearing about a woman working at the docks during this time, becoming a diver. Uh, she faces enormous sexism during this time and, um, and, uh, but had, has to fight her way into the, into the position. Um, but it was really interesting to hear about, um, and really interesting to see. Um, she's a pretty plucky person and, um, uh, which makes her interesting to read about, um. And you really are rooting for her uh, throughout the book. Uh, she's the one whose perspective I most identified with as well. Um, but um, and uh, 
she's pretty well written. Uh, um, I would say pretty well rounded because um, she can be um, impulsive and she can be uh, narrow minded as well. Um, and that leads to getting her in some pr pretty precarious positions, um, which I won't say what they are before spoilers. Um, but you'll know what I'm talking about if you've read the book. <laughs> um, but um, ultimately, I was feel I did feel a little bit disappointed by the ending. Um, I remember our, um, on Twitter, I, after reading it, I said, I have a wicked book hangover um, and after finishing this book. And it was mostly because I felt like so many of the loose ends were left untied. Um, we don't really see what happens to a lot of the secondary characters and even the first, the um, primary characters were left thinking, um, were left uh, kind of um, hanging with uh, what happens to them um, and it's just a little, a little bit unsettling um, and so I think that's kind of what led to my book hangover not because the book was so good but because um, there wasn't a lot of resolution um, we didn't come full circle the way that most novels do most great novels do um, and uh, so I did um, dock down a star for that um, I was left a little unsatisfied um, now ultimately what these perspectives have in common is that they all are striving for something they can't have they're all looking for something they're all um, they all are unsettled in some certain way um, and uh, so there is a bond that kind of um, th that uh, ties them together um, and um, although I would say that um, particularly the um, Ed's perspective, um, Ed Kerrigan's. Um, I, um, if you've seen the Insert Literary Puns Here review, which I'll leave a link to down in the description box, um, uh, she talks about how she felt that her, his perspective was a little bit superfluous um, because um, it's introduced around page 250 and, um, all of, and um, out of nowhere we see his perspective and it's just... Um, it seems excessive. It seems like too much because we've been left um, we've been left with these two characters before, and suddenly we're into the head of a third, and it's just um, too much. And I would agree with that perspective. Um, ultimately, yeah, I did enjoy this book because I went in with so like low expectations. Um, I think if you go in thinking it's going to be the best book out of your year, uh, you'll will be disappointed. Um, but uh, if you go in just uh, looking for something that will be uh, an enjoyable light read, um, it uh, it will satisfy you in that regards. So uh, again, I gave this book three out of five, or like three point five out of five stars, um, and uh, I did enjoy it. Um, so uh, I did end up buying a copy because I couldn't get it from my library in time. Um, but uh, and at first I was like, oh no, I have to buy the book, like, um, and I was really annoyed about that. Um, but uh, now I'm kind of glad I own a copy. So um, it wasn't, it, it all turned out okay. Um, let me know if you've read the book down in the comments section. Um, I would love to hear from you. Um, let me know if you've enjoyed it or if you haven't read it or if it's on your TBR shelf. Um, I know on Goodreads they're currently doing a giveaway for this book um, so um, I'll leave, it, leave a link to that down in the description box as well so if you'd like to um, win a copy of this book yeah, you can enter that. Um, yeah I'd love to hear from you all so um, let me know what you thought of the book and what you thought of the review and I will see you all next time. Go ahead!